Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and I think I finally found the ultimate portable setup for the Nintendo Switch that lets you carry it as both the console that it is, that you can dock to the TV, and also as a handheld gaming console. So this guy right here is the 3UP case by Villager, and I'm just going to get right into this. Let's, let's show you how I have this packed. So we've got three compartments here. We've got a back compartment, a middle compartment for the Switch, and then also a segmented front compartment. So that's compartment one, compartment two, compartment three. Let's go ahead and grab the switch out from the middle compartment. You can see that this fits the switch with the Skullco grip case. This is super impressive. It's really hard to find a case that will fit the switch with a grip. Then right here we have room for 10 game cartridges. So we've got all 10 games that I want to carry around with me. Then in the front, you can see that there's these little dividers here so that nothing gets scratched. We've got an extra pair of Joy-Con. These are by Colorware. We've got the PowerCore 13,400 battery pack. This is the Nintendo Switch edition. This guy can charge the Switch while you're playing the Switch. And it's an official licensed Nintendo product, so I can be sure that it's not going to cause any harm to my Switch. Then we've got the Genki Covert dock here. This doesn't look like much, but check this out. This allows you to dock your Nintendo Switch to the TV. This is all while being in a compact little package, and Genki has designed this so that it should not brick your Switch. They've solved a lot of problems here, that sh so this should not be dangerous to your Switch at all. So it's just got a little prong here, plug it into the wall. You can see you've got the HDMI port, the USB-C port, and then also if you want to plug in some other accessories. So this guy lets me charge the battery pack and dock the switch. Then in the back here, we can fit two full-size six-foot cables. So we've got a full-size HDMI cable here. This is a six-foot cable. And then the six-foot cable for the Genki dock, the USB-C cable. So it's quite neat that decent length cables can fit in this little bag because this Genki dock, you can see that there is no extension with this. The cables here pluck directly from the dock to the TV and to the switch. So whatever the length of those cables are, that is the entire reach that you're going to get. I've tried this on the TV at home and I find that six feet is, is pretty adequate. So here we have it all laid out in front of us. The Nintendo Switch with the Skullco grip case. We've got a decent sized battery pack, Genki dock. We've got an extra pair of Joy-Con, 10 games and two full size cables. And if you need to fit even more stuff, you can actually fit a few Joy-Con straps beside the covert dock right there. And also a pair of earbuds. That should be no problem at all. So that is pretty nifty. Also, the protection in this bag is no slouch, so this is padded throughout really nice and heavily with Poron XRD. That type of foam is the same type of foam that you find in helmets, like football helmets. So it's padded here, padded everywhere. There's also padding right here with this back pocket so I can show something in here and not be afraid that it's going to get damaged with just thin fabric. Another awesome little thing is it's got a little porthole here so that you can charge your switch while it's in the case. So we have the battery here, cable, and then into this middle pouch. That's really nice. Now you can actually lift the game card flap as well and then use that to pad the screen. When inside the grip case though, you can see that this lays flat against here and gives a little bit of room for the grip handles that we have on the grip. So everything fits really nice. Nothing is too tight. So it makes a really nice little travel bag to fit into another bag, or I really like to use it for everyday carry. So I will usually use it configured with an extra pair of Joy-Con, regular size wallet, as long as it's not too thick, AirPods or whatever, cleaning cloth. We've got the switch in the center compartment. And then we've got an excellent little spot right here for my phone. So all of that zips up nice and slim. We've also got the ability to connect a strap to it. Screw this little guy right here back in place. Connect it on this side here, and now you can carry it as a sling if you'd like. That's what I've been doing with it. You can wear it cross body, you can wear it on one shoulder. There's really just a lot of utility in this little bag. I love this thing. And then I couldn't help myself but to add this little Korok charm right here. So this bag is water resistant, really nice and protective. And you really can see that everything in here is nice and separated, compartmentalized. It's not going to get all messed up, scratched up, thrown in here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, if the three up case isn't your cup of tea or just not your style, then I alternatively really like the City Slicker by Waterfield Designs. This is a really handsome case. 
You can see that it's portable as well. It doesn't have as small of a footprint as the Villager, but I can easily fit it in a bag. We've got all premium materials, full grain leather here, and also ballistic nylon. You can hook a carabiner to it. You can also put a strap on it if you want to carry it by itself. You can see in the back here, I've got a spot that holds my full size cables, no problem. Then on the front, this full grain leather flap is held down by strong magnets. You can pop this up. And then inside, you can see we're immediately met with five card slots. I really like these little windows so you can see exactly what your games are. It's not 10, but five is more than adequate. Then inside, you can see in the middle, we've got the switch inside of the grip case. We've got a very slim pocket here that can fit something like earbuds. And this keeps this microfiber lining butted up against the screen. So it also cleans it, keeps it well protected. Now in this little spot right here, you can see I can fit my battery and also the covert dock. Now, unfortunately, I can't also fit an extra pair of Joy-Con and that's fine. So instead I just slipped a few Joy-Con straps right there. If you don't need the battery pack though, you really can just slip the Joy-Cons right in its place and those fit just fine. You can slap a cleaning cloth in there as well. So this is another really attractive option that I like so much. If you need more space than the City Slicker, this is the Switch Pack also by Waterfield Designs. I really like this option as well. I can't as easily fit it in another bag, but it's really handsome and handy all on its own. Of course, you can carry it by the handle or you can get an additional strap for it. So this fits everything, including the switch in the grip case, as well as all my daily carry essentials too. So extra Joy-Con, I can put all of my full-size cables right here. The only thing is that the switch doesn't fit in the grip case in this spot here. I have to sit it in the middle, but that's just fine. So of these three, the Villager is the most compact and easy to carry, but I love all of them. So I spent a lot of time trying to find the optimal setup here, and I really hope that this video has been informative to you with the options that we've got out there. Now these do run expensive, although this one is the least expensive of them. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this has been helpful and if the Villager is going to be your next bag or one of the Waterfields. And have a good day, you guys. Bye!